I'm pretty confident that this video, this video will change your whole game up. I'm just saying. So if you've been here long enough, you've heard me say hundreds of times that practicing the music is one of the best and most valuable ways to learn how to play the drums. Always has been and always will be. But let me ask you a serious question. How many of you watching right now practice the ballads? Now I know a lot of y'all have seen my last drum cover video. Did a song called Two Great Rooms by Joni Mitchell one of our world's greatest treasures. If you haven't seen that video, there's a link right there. You can check it out after this. But I took a shot doing that cover because as we know, out here in YouTube land, if you're gonna do a drum cover, it's gotta be full of fireworks and flash and chops. And I wanted to do that video as sort of a precursor to this one to make a point. And that's that practicing the ballads and slow songs is one of the most valuable things that you can do for your development as a musician. Now back in the day when I used to practice four, five, six hours a day, I was playing along to all my favorite albums and stuff, I was playing to slow songs and ballads just as often as I was the fast and fancy stuff. And the effects and results from doing that has carried through over the years and it's been one of the most valuable things that I've ever done. So this video, I'm gonna give you just a handful of important reasons why you should be practicing the ballads. Now I'm not gonna force all of these points down your throat, all right? I'm just gonna tell you what practicing the ballads has done for me over the years. And the first thing is that it's really helped me to develop my musicality on the drums, all right? Your musicality is your ability to sort of add all of the perfect colors to the painting to make it better. Now your musicality has nothing to do with chops. It's got nothing to do with how fast you can play or you know how many notes you can fit inside of two bars. It's got nothing to do with that. Your musicality, like I said, is your ability to sort of navigate through a song and just play all of the perfect stuff. When you're playing through ballads, you can sort of take life a little bit slower. You know what I'm saying? You can slow the car down, put down the window, look around, appreciate everything that's going on around you, and see how you can complement it. If you have any hopes of becoming a recording musician, studio musician, anything like that, this is what's going to make you effective in the studio. Another super valuable thing that practicing the ballads will do for you is that it's gonna help you to develop your touch and your dynamics on the kit, all right? So when you're playing through slow songs and ballads and stuff, you're probably gonna experience the full range of dynamics from one to 10. So everything from, you know, big crash hits to really sweet cymbal swells, things like that, um, the way you touch your toms, your hi-hat, like you're just gonna be a lot more aware of how you're touching what you have on your kit. So your dynamic range is vastly gonna improve. During that process, while you're playing all of those slower songs and stuff, I mean, you're gonna learn, you're gonna learn how to play your cymbals instead of just hitting them. There is nothing more important for a drummer to do, aside from having really good timing, you really have to be able to control your dynamics. Nobody loves a drummer that's always on 10. So practicing the ballads is kind of like a discipline thing. It's really gonna help you to develop how you play your drums, how you touch your drums to get all the right sounds out of them. Another super valuable thing that playing the ballads has done for me over the years is that it's helped me to sort of collect a library of different ideas on how to treat certain sections of a song. These are things that I am constantly drawing from whenever I'm in a situation where I'm playing a slow song or a worship song or whatever. 
you get a lot of ideas as far as, you know, how to use the symbols, how to use your floor tom. Floor toms can be really effective um, in ballads. Big, you know, double hit type fills, stuff like that. Um, you know, different ideas as far as how to play the hi-hats. You're going to collect so many cool and effective musical ideas when you play along the ballads. This is all useful and usable stuff that you're going to be able to use for the rest of your life. Another great thing that practicing the slow songs has done for me is that it's really helped me to listen to my kit while I'm playing it. Now you can hear your kit while you're playing, but are you listening to your kit while you play? There's a difference. When you can really appreciate the sounds that you have in front of you, you're going to want to take advantage of it. When you have really gorgeous sound and cymbals, sometimes you just want to touch it the right way in the right spot in the bar and stand back just so you can hear it. The effect that that can have in a song a lot of times is just perfect. If you had a gorgeous sounding ride cymbal like this one here, this is a uh, Pisces Masters uh, 22 inch dark ride. This thing has a gorgeous tone when you hit it with the tip of the stick. If you're just playing quarter notes, you know, through a song, you're really going to enjoy listening to the shimmer between those two quarter notes. When you listen to that kind of thing on a playback on a song, wow. Same thing goes for your toms. You know, if you got your floor tom tuned nice and low and sustaining real nice and you hit it and you hear that decay, all of that stuff is really effective. I'll tell you something else too. A lot of you haters out there that don't like splashes, this could change your mind because a splash in the right spot could be perfect. But yeah, when you listen to your kit, when you know what it sounds like and what these things can do, you really start to take advantage of that and you can play the right thing in the right spot every single time. But the most important thing that playing the ballads and slow songs has done for me is that it's helped me learn how to produce myself while I'm playing, whether it's on stage or whether it's in the studio. It's your Rolodex of decision making that's constantly moving while you're playing through a song. All of those slow songs and ballads that you used to practice to, again, you got that library full of ideas and you're constantly drawing from them while you're playing. This here is what's going to be your most valuable skill as a musician. Above all of the chops and all the other fancy stuff and your physical ability, your decision making is what gets you noticed and what gets you rehired.
So the song that I just played for you is simply called Rock Ballad. It's one of the hundreds of play along tracks available to you if you're a Drumeo Edge member. So if you are one, you can head over there and grab it right now. If you're not an Edge member, guess what? You can try it for 30 days for free. Just hit the link in the description box, take you right over there. Two clicks, click, click, boom. You're in the kingdom for 30 days. But yes, I encourage every single person watching right now, while you're playing through all of your favorite albums, don't skip the slow tunes. Don't skip the ballads. Learn them, listen to them, play along with them. That stuff is going to serve you for the rest of your life. So there you go. More free, valuable information from the beat down. Take it or leave it. Hopefully you take it. By the way, if you aspire to one day be a drummer for hire, guess what? You can start with the t-shirt. Because everything starts with the t-shirt. This is a beat down exclusive. It's part of my merch. Link will be in the description box if you want to grab one for yourself. Hoodies are available as well. Just click that link, take it straight over to the shop, pick yourself something up. New viewers, new subscribers, welcome to the channel. This is the kind of free stuff that you get here. Make sure you hit the notification bell so you know when the next video is coming out. Boom. Subscribe. Mash that before you bounce. Share this video if you dig it. Drop a comment if you got one. Like. Subscribe. See you next video.